What's up nail friends? In today's video, I'm doing a collaboration of this fun leopard print watercolor design. My friend Talia first did this set and I took inspiration from her. So when you're done watching my video, which is done in acrylic, you should watch her video, which was done with gel and we use different products. So it'll be kind of fun to see the differences in our sets. So make sure you check out her channel when you're done this video and let's jump into it. To start this set, I already filed on her past set. Her past set was that really fun uh, rose quartz design I recently did. So I'll link that in the top corner if you guys are interested. So I filed that all the way down and prepped all her nails before starting the set. And normally I would apply a clear layer down, but because I was using such light colors, I decided not to add the extra bulk and the extra step. So I'm just going right in with the color. So the first color I'm coming in with here is my favorite white from Glitter Bells. This is called Snow Satin. I've used this in a lot of tutorials and I don't do a lot of nails, but I love this white. It is so easy to work with and so pretty. It's like kind of like a shimmery white, super nice. Anyways, I applied it at the very tip first, pat it into place, and then I go in and do my cuticle bead. Try to get that as super close to the skin without touching it. And then I'm just gently dragging this down into the bottom half of the nail. So I did keep this in real time for you guys so you could see how fast I work. I also added the white on the pinky as well because I wanted my set to kind of be a uh, almost exact replica of Talia's design, but I did change up a few little things here. Like on her thumb, I did all glitter and uh, instead of zebra print, I just did leopard. So right away, I actually am encapsulating the white nails and that is because I'm gonna be using a glitter on the ring finger and the point and the middle finger. And um, I don't want it to transfer into my monomer or into my brush and get any glitter on the white nails. So a tip for you guys is to just go ahead and encapsulate your solid nails before doing your glitter. Or you can have two separate brushes and two separate dappin dishes. That would also work as well, but that seems like slightly wasteful because you know, you're only gonna use your monomer on one client. So instead of wasting product, I just encapsulate first, save time. So the beautiful glitter I'm coming in with is called Jennifer. This is from the premixed glitters from Glitter Bells and it is just a gorgeous chunky silver. I love it so much. So I'm applying that underneath the glitter because we're gonna be using some chunky rainbow glitter in this set. So I just wanted a nice uh, thin layer of silver underneath that. So to start, I apply it at the very free edge of the nail and then I pat that down that stiletto nail into place. Then I go in with my cuticle bead, just like the way I did it with the colored acrylic. And I do it this way when the nails are this long. So if her nails were shorter, I would just start right at the cuticle, but because they're so long, I start at the tip. That's just my personal preference. You can do it any way you want. And then again, I'm applying the same glitter on the middle finger and as well as the thumb. And I like to place it down, pat it into place and make this really, really thin. Cause like I said, we're gonna be applying some chunkier glitters on top and you don't want it to be too thick or else you'll just, you know, accidentally file some off. So apply this layer super thin. You can apply it so thin that you even have some of the natural nails showing through. It's not really gonna matter. This is literally just the background. So thinner the better. I also find when you're doing chunky glitter, it's always nice to do like a thinner, finer glitter underneath. That way you can get a really nice cuticle application so that you don't have to try to get your chunky glitter perfectly around your cuticle because that just won't work. So the glitter I'm using is called fish food. Everybody loves fish food. It's the best glitter mix ever. So these little chunky glitter circles are actually extremely thin. So you can overlap them really well without having to worry about filing in and accidentally filing them out. So on Talia's set, she did more of pastel dots. So that's what also is different about my set. My set, I use these more brighter dots and that way I matched my watercolor art with the dots in my set and her watercolor art probably matches better with her dots she used in her set. So I just really, really wanted to use fish food and I needed a good excuse to use it. I thought this would be the perfect set where I actually got to use it. So after applying all the dots, now I can encapsulate these nails. So I let them dry before encapsulating just so you don't accidentally wipe off your dots. They're nice and dry and they're stuck in place. And then I apply a small bead near the tip because the nails are long, I like to encapsulate my tip first. So I get my tip nice and perfect and then I go in with my cuticle bead. 
and that bead I will use to create my apex. And in my last video, I actually did double camera angle, but I do still have a few videos, well, quite a few videos that I filmed that only have the one camera angle. So I'm gonna try to get all those videos up for you guys, and then we will continue to do double angle filming, because I think you guys prefer seeing both angles from overhead and side shot. So I will try to get more videos out like that, but please keep in mind, I do have pre-filmed videos that are still just one angle. Okay, so skipping ahead, I went and finished filed all these nails, which I've done in a lot of videos, so I decided to skip it in this one. So right now, I'm just applying a matte top coat. So this is Luminary Nail Systems Empower Matte, and the reason I'm doing that is because of the watercolor. I like to apply it on top of an already matte surface. I just find that it applies a little bit nicer. So I'm applying a matte top coat, gonna give that a full cure. The matte is a no wipe, so it'll just come out right away as something I can apply on just like that you can see they're nice and matte so what I'm doing here is I'm using a watercolor palette so this is the only palette I have and it is one from Michael's craft store it's only seven dollars super great price and I'm just using a little brush I got from Magpie Beauty USA and I have a little water next to me as well so I'm dipping my water into the color I want to use and then I'm just going right in with the color I want to use onto the nails and just drawing some dots so these are gonna be the leopard print you let your dot dry slightly, you could let it dry a lot or just a little. The thing about watercolor is there's so many different ways to do it and it's super easy. So really you can just dilute your color until it's right. So I was trying to match the dots, that's why I'm taking a look at them there. And here I'm coming in with the blue now and trying to match the dot with the dots of blue on her nails. And I thought this one was perfect. So I'm going in with this one now. And like I said, I'm drawing like little jaggedy circles. They don't have to be perfect because this is leopard print, so you don't want perfect circles. You just want some jaggedy little circle dots. <laughs> it's really simple. Like as you guys can see, you can't really screw this up. And then you're gonna go in with fresh water, take out some of the color. And then I have a little napkin next to me that I wipe off the extra color onto. I started going into that darker pink and then when I wiped it on the towel it was a little too dark so now I'm coming in with this lighter pink. Keep in mind you can mix these as well so you can create your own colors. So whatever you're doing you can match almost basically with any watercolor palette you have. This one I love because it was so cheap <laughs> and there's so many different colors and you can mix your own so I really love this palette. Um, if you have a Michaels you guys should go pick it up because it's a super good price. So again going in with the pink pulling out some of that color. Now I'm coming in with a purple that matches as well. The one color I didn't do was the light green, but I found I didn't have any more room. After I got two of each color on, I was like, okay, well, I can't add more, so buy green, sorry. Um, <laughs> so once I got all those colors on, I let them dry. You're gonna wanna let these dry fully before adding any top coat or anything, just so they don't chip, because that's what sometimes happens when you're using like paints or foils and stuff like that. So make sure it's fully dried. And now I'm coming in and I'm applying the dots for the leopard print. So what I'm using is the Magic Gels Universal Black Gel Paint. This is my favorite black gel paint. I've been using it for years. I still have the same one container. It's just like never ending and it's super small too. I think it's only like five or 15 or 10 grams or something. It's really small, but I've had it forever and I still use it and I still love it and I've never found anything I like more. So if you guys are looking for a great gel paint, definitely check out Magic Gel. So what I'm doing here is I just used a dotting tool, I'm dipping it into the pot and then I'm just wiping it along the outside line of the leopard print and I'm kind of jiggling my, my little dotting tool so that the lines aren't perfect and they kind of look like dots, like jiggly dots. And then you're gonna wanna add dots around your color as well as on the plain nail just so it doesn't look so, you know. It needs the dots, it needs the extra dots. <laughs> or else it doesn't look like the leopard print. So for crystals, I decided to do it on a different finger than Talia did, and I chose her ring finger. I just decided to do one line. I did have a bunch of stuff pulled out to do something more intricate and exciting, but when it came down to it, it really didn't need much on the set because it was already a lot going on. So I just decided to do one line on this finger and then just a little cluster on her pointer finger. 
after applying crystals, I cured them in the light, and then now I'm applying my top coat. So I'm using my Glitter Bells No Wipe top coat. And we do have an order coming, so I know there's a lot of people who have been waiting for the top coat and the primer, and that is on the way. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, but that's coming at the end of the month or early next month. So we'll have a lot in stock soon. So I'm just applying a thin layer of that over the whole nail. So on the nails with the leopard print, they might feel a little textured. So a way to combat that would be not adding crystals first, but applying your top coat and then lightly buffing your top coat, cleansing it, and then applying another coat of top coat. And then you can get rid of any of that texture. But honestly, it didn't bother my client and it didn't bother me either. It's actually kind of fun to rub your finger along. So if your client doesn't mind the texture, you can just leave it. Or if you want to get rid of it, you can just do one coat of gel, cure it, buff it, and then another coat and then add your crystals after and that way you get rid of any texture give that a full cure and here is my finished set so i hope you guys liked my design what do you guys think um what do you guys think of the color choices i chose make sure you pop on over to talia's channel talia's nail tales i will link her in my description box and check out her design which was basically the same but slightly different and she did her watercolor black lines differently than me she actually used black watercolor i'm pretty sure i haven't watched her video yet but i saw a different video of hers where she did watercolor and she used the black in the system which i didn't think to use so that's another difference that our videos will have so make sure you check out her channel and if you liked my video please give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and click the bell next to the subscription button in order to be notified when i post and i'll see you guys in the next one bye